is Daniela Bril Estrada. I'm an artist. I work mostly with biology and physics. And now I'm working on a series of drawings which has taken me years. The drawings that I do are based on a hypothesis that I wrote myself about a possible fundamental force in nature. And this fundamental force would allow me to prove where a carbon atom has been, where it originated in space and how it has been part of the cycle on Earth. As we know, carbon is the element of life. It's the fundament, <laughs> fundamental element of life since it creates the compound molecules. So it, according to my hypothesis and my fundamental force, it would be possible that one carbon atom that belonged to a human body is now part of one of my drawings. So in this sense, I am poetically bringing a person back through the drawings, but not only the person, but also the, the, uh, the words and the feelings and uh, the life that shaped that person's biology. I decided to dedicate this show to the female writers of the Beat Generation, which was the generation after the Second World War in the United States. This was a generation of mostly white men who freed themselves of what society told them to be or what they had to be. Remembered as the queer and free generation of Kerouac and of Ginsberg but you never really hear the names of the women who were also part of it. So I started working on their lives and doing some research. Joyce Johnson, who is one of them, she says that women, they weren't allowed to go on the road. They had less options to be free. Still they did it, still they said no to everything that they were supposed to be and they wrote poetry and they carried on with their creative side and this group of rebellious women should be known today also as an example of, of women freeing themselves from the uh, impositions of society.